Hey guys, welcome back. Today's viewer question is from Sarge, and he left me two good questions on my video where I show how to clear the memory in the PCM and all the modules. So I'll leave a link to that video down below. So let me read you his question. He says, hello, thanks for the info. Will this procedure delete any custom tunes uploaded in my Crown Vic computer? Also, I have check engine light with P0401 that pops up every two trips. I've replaced certain parts that are associated, but it still comes back. Please advise. So the first question about um, clearing uh, the custom tunes in the computer, uh, to answer that in plain English, plain English, the answer is no. Uh, the, t the type of the memory in the PCM, there's two kinds. There's a permanent kind and a semi-permanent kind. And the permanent kind is the real important stuff. Uh, things that don't need to... Uh, uh, things that should not be erased when the battery is disconnected. And that custom tune uh, lives in the permanent memory. And the procedure that I show in that video, it clears uh, the short-term memory for things like learned adaptive strategies for like transmission shift points and fuel trims and whatnot. So uh, clearing the uh, PCM with that procedure will not uh, clear out any custom tunes. And this next question is really good, uh, the, the code. So let me read that to you. So the definition of that code is P0401 EGR flow insufficient detected. And the reason why this is a good uh, code is because this code applies to all Panther cars from 1992 to 2011 Crown Vic Grand Marquis Marauder Town Car. So um, I'm going to... Uh, read uh, some diagnostic steps that should help Sarge out. So uh, the key to uh, check engine light diagnosis is you really need access to factory service literature uh, for, code de for code definitions and troubleshooting like this. So I've dug into my uh, service literature and I've printed out all of the diagnostic steps and I'm going to read that to you. Uh, but you know the saying, you know, uh, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day, uh, teach a man to fish, you'll never see him again on weekends. So I'll, uh, I'll put a link to a video down below where you can get all of this uh, service literature for free. Okay. Okay, so let's get into this code uh, diagnosis. So let me read the... Uh, oh, shit. So let me read the definition or the description of this code. The EGR system is monitored during steady state driving conditions while the EGR is commanded on. The test fails when the signal from the differential pressure feedback sensor indicates that EGR flow is less than the desired minimum. Now, um, under that, we've got possible causes and we've got a, a bunch of them. So I'm, I blew it up. And uh, these, these are the things that you want to check, Sarge, to uh, fix this code. Okay, so the first possible cause is vacuum supply. EGR valve stuck closed. EGR valve leaks vacuum. EGR flow path restricted. EVR circuit short to voltage. Vehicle reference open to differential pressure feedback sensor. Differential pressure feedback sensor downstream hose is off or plugged. EVR circuit open. Vehicle power open to EGR vacuum regulator solenoid. Differential pressure feedback sensor hoses are both off. Differential pressure feedback sensor hoses are reversed. Damaged EGR orifice tube. Damaged EGR vacuum regulator solenoid. So these are all of the things that you want to check uh, to diagnose this code, especially now after you've uh, replaced those parts. And uh, yeah, 
And uh, down here uh, it says diagnostic aids. Carry out the key on engine off, or excuse me, carry out the key on engine running self test and look for DTC P1408 as if indicated pres if indicated present. Look for contamination restriction leaks and intermittent code. So I'm not sure what that means, but what I think it means is if you've got a dealer level scan tool with uh, actuation tests, uh, you can command on um, the self test and that will check for that code. And uh, now we go to pinpoint testing HH. Now what this means is, is all of those uh, things that you need to check if the uh, ground is shorted or the power is shorted or even uh, checking resistance you've got to uh, check pins so uh, what you've got here is you've got a diagram of the electrical connector on the back of the EGR and it identifies uh, the pins 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 and then it's got a key here 1 through 6 to tell you which is which so you know which one to measure so uh, those are the diagnostic uh, steps for that code and uh, most likely if you follow those steps uh, you're going to be able to fix this and uh, once you uh, find something or once you make your repair uh, remember to run a drive cycle to uh, uh, meet the enabling criteria to make sure that monitor to make sure the EGR monitor can run to completion without throwing on that code again and uh, it, this this code is a two trip uh, two trip code or a two cycle code, so you'll have to drive it two times. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.